Good morning guys, it's Mark with Red Star Loft. Welcome back to the channel. Here you see. First update since I put up the aviary. The birds are, uh, took them a couple days, but they're in there now. I've already given them a bath in there as well. So they're uh, getting used to it, they're liking it. I've been playing with this uh, chain. I'll show it to you. I basically measured it out. Measured it out, just gotta cut off the uh, excess chain and uh, squeeze those together, but yeah. Sorry, the sun was on my face on the other side. Yeah, I just had that decorative chain in my uh, garage, so decided I'll grab it and use it. But there they are. Enjoying their aviary so far, so a few more days and I'll put up the bob trap and then I'll be uh, able just to chase all the birds out in the aviary and uh, put up the bob trap and let them, uh, let them figure it out and go back inside. Maybe call them or just let them do it on their own either way. So, there is that. Now, like I said, there's always, there's always somebody in here, at least a few birds, so. Let's go back inside, what are you looking at? We have a few birds, or, yeah, four birds to wean today. I just got done, um, yeah, just gave them their water. I'm about to give them feed in a few minutes. There's these guys. Both beautiful, both pretty birds. But like I said, we do have a few. Let me take my glove off. We do have some birds to wean. Might have waited a day or so later, but I wanted to wean all four of them at the same time instead of two by two. Let me grab these guys. These guys are, like I said, possibly a day or two overdue for weaning, but let me show them to you. Beautiful birds. I love the white. Love the white under their beaks. So there's those two. They are off of my Gannis birds. They're already on their young. I'll show you those in a minute. You are rocking the wrong nest box there, buddy. So, That's them too. These were the guys that I was waiting on. Oh, these nest boxes are so deep. Hard to reach in there sometimes. That's the bigger guy, but I was specifically waiting on this guy. Two pretty blue bars. Get them over here as well. One. And there is number two. All right. 
What are you doing up there? Slowly filling up the side. Yeah, I really like these two guys. The splashes of white make them real, real unique. So, time to give these guys breakfast too, but they're all thrown off by new birds. They emptied it out from the day before. They're starting to respond to my to my whistle call fairly well, but I do give them more food than I need to. So as you can see, there's three of them in this little one. And pretty much all the rest of them in there. So yeah. there's the little guys. Let's see what we got. They're eating, they're eating and I'm disturbing them, but I'll be leaving shortly. So up here, now that she's almost back, we've got one. The other one didn't make it on that, uh, come on mama. The other egg didn't make it, so that was the only one that made it. In here, too far up, I'm not gonna reach, but there's two babies in there that have hatched as well. My Gannis birds are on two new eggs. This one, as you can see, two babies in there. One baby almost ready for banding in here. Sorry about the light, I forgot to turn on my flashlight. They're on eggs. It's dark in there, so I'm not gonna bring bring the camera in there, but one in here. There's these two. Let's see what they're looking like, but even th their parents are blue bars, so they're not gonna be too much of a mystery. But they should have some white flights, so that should be interesting. Of course they crap as soon as you touch them. Uh, the other one's the same, obviously. And she's got one. And the two in there hatched. And she's laying on two eggs, and she's laying on two eggs, so as you can see, I just weaned the last four birds of my first round. Meanwhile, I already have two, three, five, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 birds from my second round that have hatched and that are going to be much closer in age, so I'll let these guys eat. Look at that one, he's already picking at stuff. So yeah, as you guys can imagine, not a ton of new stuff, just dealing with the elements, dealing with the cold. It's nice and uh, yeah, now it's the time of year where it's nice and warm during the day. It's in the 40s, but then uh, when the night falls, I think it was 11, 11 degrees last night. So yeah, and 
that's more or less all I got for you guys today. Look at these guys, they're already they're already eating on their own. So we'll let them do what they do, we'll let them eat. And uh, I'll be back with you guys sometime around the weekend. Thanks for watching and hope you all have a good day.